What's up, guys, and welcome to another ODF podcast. I think this is going to be our fourth. We're kind of changing it up for this episode. We're not discussing or doing a lake breakdown. We're actually going to be discussing something that's kind of new to the fishing world right now, and that is bass announcing their new kayak series, which is a very cool thing. It's rather new to the industry, but uh, it's definitely something that needed to happen. Not everyone has the access to eighty, ninety thousand dollar bass boats. So, uh, just the basically, I'll start out with the format. This is straight from uh, Bassmasters website for the kayak division. So basically, they're going through Turny X, which is like an app to submit these pictures. And I've actually fished like three or four events through kayak tournaments where it's done by this. You have a bump board that is like the specific one for the tournament hold the fish on there, take a picture, and then it's uh, determined by the directors if it's a legal catch or not. But the ones I have fished have been like MLF format, as many as you can catch, where this one is going to be uh, your five biggest, and then you can cull. So they're going to have events at Lake Fork, Chickamauga, the Mississippi River, and Clear Lake, which is some really cool places to go, especially for kayaks. I think a lot of those... Is gonna give a different aspect, uh, just like the Mississippi River. That's that's a lot of running, and you're in a kayak, so it's gonna be interesting. Uh, the entry fees are really low; they're only two fifty a tournament, with pretty well uh, well off purses. But other than that, I think it's just a really cool idea, and it's something that needed to happen. Uh, like for myself. Uh, I've never owned a bass boat, so when I'm not able to go with somebody else, I'm usually left with my kayak. So it's definitely another format that I needed to open. It's a very cool idea from Bassmaster. Yeah. What are y'all's thoughts? Yeah, I, I like the idea. I think it's it's cool because uh, a lot of, for a big excuse and a lot of people who bass fish is like, I don't have enough money to go bass fish. I don't have an expensive boat and an expensive truck or anything. You can. With this uh, tournament situation, you can just go and have whatever style kayak, just get out on the water. It gives a opportunity <clears throat> opportunity just to, for anybody to go out on the water and fish. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a really cool opportunity, and I think it's big uh, that Bassmaster released something like this because uh, they really needed something to kind of step up their game uh, with MLF coming out. So. Yeah, I definitely think thumbs up to uh, Bassmaster for putting this out there. I think this broadens the whole bass fishing community by a lot. Take on the kayak series. I think it's going to be a cool thing to see new hammers come out because these people can't afford to buy these boats. But also people with different skills because they're not as able to go on a boat. So they're more restricted on doing things like fishing shallow more. They're, they can't idle like we can to find spots. So you're going to see these people who really have different and better, could be even better at certain things that most guys on the boat can't do because they're forced to fish a certain way. So it would be interesting to see how these guys do on these big lakes. Yeah. I definitely think it would be cool if there was a way to sometimes like get the guy, get the guys like us and the pros, the guys who run boats all the time, to get in a format like this and just see like the difference in somebody's fishing style going from running a boat to going in a kayak. I think that would definitely be an interesting take on the whole thing. All right, uh, transitioning into another topic is for the FLW Championship, the change of ownership of FLW with MLF acquiring FLW. Uh, it changed the format of the national championship. So, Mark? So, uh, basically, what I took from it was... Um, it, whoever wins, instead of how it used to be, there's no Forestwood Cup anymore, so uh, you never had to compete uh, against your partner. I mean, you in the past, you had to compete against your partner to see uh, which one person would go to the uh, Forestwood Cup. But in this uh, new um, championship round, they're doing it to where both partners are going to a championship is what they're calling it now because there is no Forestwood Cup, sadly. Uh, so basically, as you get to the point of winning you get to go uh, and then you both get to compete in the championship which is i think it's pretty fair because it kind of sucks for you to have to go against your partner to, to be able to compete yeah so now with mlf acquiring flw the first 
six spots for the national championship is first place is thirty thousand dollar premium 17 foot bass boat with a 115 horsepower and your 2020 flw series championship entries so that was basically what reese was saying is you don't have to compete both you and your partner get to go to the flw championship then second and third second third and fourth place is five thousand four thousand and three thousand plus your 2020 bfl all american as boater entry fees paid for and then fifth and sixth is money and then your 2020 bfl all american as co-angler entry fees paid for so it's pretty cool what they're doing here with that with now you and your partner get to reap the benefits and you don't really have to compete against each other i think it's pretty cool that like in past, it was one person gets a shot at being like kind of like a big name in the industry, I guess. But in this new uh, situation, they're setting up more than one person to be successful. Like they're putting people in places where they can uh, flourish, basically, and go get up into the professional circuit. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely think with MLF acquiring FLW, we're going to see a lot of changes over these next four years that we're in college. We're, I think we're going into like the prime time of college fishing so it's definitely going to be interesting how bass and flw and mlf how all these three kind of relate and how possibly like we could transition into an mlf format going into flw we don't really know as of right now but it'll be interesting and we'll keep discussing these topics on this podcast uh, other than that for this video we are going to be talking about our next semester in college which uh our season just ended if you haven't seen our third podcast it'll be linked it's on itunes and one dream fishing on youtube but we just ended out on sam rayburn and we're talk gonna talk about our events coming up here in the spring it's gonna be very busy very fun we're ready to get rolling these are gonna be the bigger events so all right so i'm gonna start off with bassmaster so for bassmaster uh at the end of january we're gonna be going to toledo bend in Louis uh, louisiana so that's going to be an awesome turn. <clears throat> tournament. It's going to be real cold. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> Golly, I got some stuck in my throat. <laughs> Next, uh, after that, it's going to be at the end of February at Smith Lake. Uh, these two will be going uh, together yes, fishing. Going to Smith Very Lake. excited to fish yeah. it. Um, and, yeah, so Mark and I will be in Florida for the FLW National Championship. So that one's going to be uh, kind of upsetting to miss, but we got good reason, I guess. Um, and then at the end of March, we got Lake Hartwell in South Carolina. That is going to be a, probably a slugfest. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna, that's probably the one I'm looking forward to the most is, uh, Lake Hartwell. Can't wait to get out there. Definitely going to see fish pushing up in all three stages of the spawn. So it should be good fishing by then. Yeah, it should be awesome. Uh, and, and the last event for, uh, Bassmaster is, uh, Lake Cumberland in Kentucky. That is probably one of the ones I'm really looking forward to because it's you can literally go and catch a giant small mouth and then catch a giant large mouth there. So I'm pretty excited for that one. And then for the FLW uh, college series, we're going to be fishing Fort Gibson at the end of March, and then um, actually before that, me and you are fishing the national championship yeah. on uh, Harris Chain of Lakes in Florida. So that is going to be fun. Uh, they changed up all the rules now with. MLF buying out FLW, so there's a little bit different outcomes of that tournament, but we're super excited to go down to Florida. That's going to be a slugfest as well. That should be fun. There's going to be some <laughs> giant bass in that video, so y'all be sure to watch that. And then, uh, so yeah, like I said, March is uh, Fort Gibson, and then we go over to the Washita River, and that is in the fall. So yeah, so we only have two FLW tournaments in the spring. And uh, the rest will be fishing as college bass. So, yep. super exciting. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a great year. 2020 is going to be yep. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah, so it's going to be sure. fun. And then for ACA, we're also going back to Sam Rayburn. And then towards the end of the spring, I'm pretty sure it's in the summer, we go to Pickwick for the national championship. So, that'll be fun. That'll be awesome. We have a <laughs> very, very good spring schedule coming up. Uh, looking forward to it, getting back out in the water. We're kind of in a dry spot right now. We don't have a tournament till January. We don't exactly know what to do when we have to uh, go to class like usual <laughs> people. So uh, 
but that's about it for this video not a whole lot uh we're trying to keep it a little bit shorter with these podcasts but and we are going to be closing out this podcast this was really just one to discuss kind of the new things going on in the fishing community and talking about what's in our future for next semester and the coming up season so if any of y'all have any ideas you'd like us to talk about new in the fishing world con controversial topics anything like that anything new in the fishing world put it in the comments we'll try to get to it all and uh we're just looking forward to keeping this thing rolling getting started in the new spring schedule and uh keep the punishments coming uh if y'all didn't already see it our 2v2 on joe pool came out just a little bit ago be linked in the description but as always thanks for watching god bless We'll see you on the next episode of the ODF Podcast. We're out. Boom.